Hello viewers, welcome to MathTech. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve a question of complex analysis from CSIR Net June 2022. The question is from the topic Modulus. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, if mod of e to the power e to the power z is equal to 1, where z is equal to x plus eta y, then which of the following is true? Option 1, x is equal to n pi, where n belongs to z. Option 2, x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2, where n belongs to z. Option 3, y is equal to n pi, where n belongs to z. Option 4, y is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2, where n belongs to z. Now, e to the power z can be written as e to the power x plus eta y, which is further written as e to the power x into e to the power eta y, which is further written as e to the power x into cos y plus eta sin y, why it is so, because the value of e to the power y is this. Now, e to the power e to the power z is equal to e to the power e to the power x into cos y plus eta sin y which is further written as e to the power e to the power x into cos y e to the power eta e to the power x sin y now taking mod on both sides we get mod of e to the power e to the power z is equal to mod of e to the power e to the power x cos y e to the power eta e to the power x sin y which is further written as mod of e to the power e to the power x cos y into mod of e to the power eta e to the power x sin y because mod of z1 z2 is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 now the value of mod of this function is 1 why it is so because e to the power eta theta mod is 1 this implies value of mod of e to the power e to the power z is equal to e to the power e to the power x into cos y why it is so because it is a real quantity this implies e to the power e to the power s into cos y is equal to 1. Why it is so? Because it is given that the mod of this function is 1, which is further written as e to the power 0. Now, on comparing, we get e to the power s into cos y is equal to 0. This further implies cos y equal to 0. Why it is so? Because the value of e to the power s cannot be 0 for any value of x. This implies y is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 when n belongs to z. Hence, option 4 is true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.